soul family let me tell you something you know a lot of individuals on this planet those who are spiritually awake they are not going to be traveling to different countries and do a lot of fun things with people they're sure not going to have a lot of sets with a lot of people in different locations because when you want these spiritual people man everything is harder for you literally man like for example myself right like me I don't get to travel to different countries and all these different locations and meet up with all these different individuals or meet up with all these different girls in different locations on planet Earth in different countries. Why? Because I wanted to spiritually, I wanted to spiritually awake people so I don't fit in the matrix. I'm not one of these Travis Scott dudes. I'm not one of these Kendrick Lamar dudes. I'm not one of these J. Coles, uh, Macy Yagos, you know, Drake. You know, I'm not one of these dudes, man. I'm not I'm not like I'm not like Duke Dennis or any social media famous dude. So like I, I don't have the luxury to go to different locations and meet up with like different females and different in different locations on this planet because I don't fit in the matrix, bro. And then on top of that, you know, when you have relatives that only see you as a regular individual and nothing more than that, of course things are going to be way more difficult for you. To be able to create your dreams and to be able to like, you know, focus on your dreams to like, you know, have your abundance through do the dreams that you're naturally good at. Because a lot of relatives, especially in the Western countries, a lot of relatives, especially with melanated families in USA, they only see a spiritually awake relative as a regular person. So it's like, you know, a lot of melanated relatives in USA you know they they might see like you know famous people like like fucking lebron james kobe bryant uh zach levine lonzo ball Lev like so many people so many famous people you could think of you know man bro it's 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 crazy man like when you're a spiritually awake person you're not gonna have all the you're not going to have all the goods in this matrix the way that all these fucking sellouts be having, man. So it's like, so when you do see, for example, when you do see females going to these different countries, you see females and guys going to all these different countries, like each week, like one week they'll be in Puerto Rico, the next week they'll be in Colombia, the next week they'll be in the country of Jamaica, the next week they'll be in the country of Italy. The next week, they'll be in a country of Greece. The next week, they'll be in a country of Japan. They'll be in all these different countries so easily. And they are not working nine to five jobs. Because I can tell you, working nine to five jobs is not going to let you travel to different places within one week. It's just not going to happen. You got to literally be you got to literally be a Freemason or you got to literally do humiliation rituals to go to these different countries for real. Because people that do females and males who do humiliation rituals they always be in different countries somehow and it's not through a nine to five job it's really not it's not through a nine to five or five to nine occupation it's literally through performing blood sacrifice blood sacrificing humiliation rituals man this is real soul family like this is like bro it's it's sad man imagine a spiritually awake person grew up in a, in the state of Louisiana, right? Chances are they're going to be in Louisiana for like the the rest of their life until the system crash with the FEMA camps you like coming into existence, bro. Like, bro. I told a lot of real I told some relatives this stuff, man. It's like, you know, they they don't think that the FEMA camps are going to like come through, but it really is going to come through. And money is not going to be of no use, man. Like all this all this lame shit with courthouses, court fees, all this lame shit that happened to spiritual beings, bro. All these non spirit all these people that's not spiritual, bro. They having all the fun in the world, bro. All the people that's not spiritual, they having all the fun in this matrix. Going to clubs. How what what individual you know be in clubs every single day, bro? I look on Instagram, right? You know this is not normal. Okay, okay, we live in a society where money inflate we live in societies where money inflation is a thing. So money inflation is a thing. How can how can individuals in the era of money inflation with with female camps coming into existence, how it, how can a, a female or male could just go to clubs in different countries every single day knowing that money inflation is is the era now? 
Bro, this stuff is this is how you know spiritual beings have it hard. People that's not spiritual, they got it easy, bro. All these all these non-spiritual people you see on Instagram and TikTok, bro, they have it easy compared to spiritually awake people. All these walking prophets and chosen ones, man, we don't have it easy. We we spiritual people, we can't just get up and just go anywhere we want any anytime we think about it. Like these non-spiritual people, these masons and et cetera, social media famous sellouts, bro, they can do whatever, man, especially these females. Like for real. It's so many females who've been to Italy, Greece, uh, going to Dubai, going to all these different countries with with so much ease, and they don't work nine to five jobs. And I'm like, yeah, something ain't right. They must have did humiliation rituals to go do these things, man. Like this stuff is real deep soul finally, like like when you're when you're not when you when you're not a spiritual person, everything's gonna flow easy in this matrix for you, bro. All the spiritual people always be always be dealing with like you know court issues, gang stalking, bro. Spiritual people always have it rough, bro. These people that's not spiritual, bro, they don't gotta uh, worry about gang stalking, court issues, all this damn all this damn gang stalking, bullying shit. They like. People that's not spiritual, they don't got to deal with that. They can just go to different clubs, have sex with whoever and shit, and, and, and everything be good to these non-spiritual people. Like soul family. This stuff is so sad, man. This stuff is really sad, man. And if you tell this to relatives who ain't spiritually awake, it's like they, they so blank with this stuff, man. Like spiritually awake people literally... Have it rough in the matrix, bro. When you a spiritually awake person, chances are you're not going to, uh, you know, meet meet new people in different locations on a daily basis. It's not going to happen for you because you're one of the spiritual beings. Walking prophets always got it rough, man. I happen to be one of these walking prophets. I don't know any relatives of mine. A lot of relatives of mine don't even know that I'm a walking prophet, a chosen one. Because people that's chosen ones, they don't be in clubs. They don't be in different countries with ease, bro. Like, bro, all these non-spiritual people, they get to do all the fun stuff in this matrix. We spiritually awake people, we can't do nothing fun at all. We can't. The only, the only fun time we spiritually awake people will have is like when we by ourselves. But these people that's not spiritual, they can have fun with other people in different locations on this planet and everything just goes smooth for them they'll never be in no bullshit bro bro people that's spiritual they always got to deal with some bullshit in their way people that's not bro th this this is real people that are spiritual always got to deal with some bullshit in their way whether it's like court issues etc people that's not spiritual People that are zombies, people that are soulless vibrational NPCs, non-playable characters, people who just fit in this matrix society, bro, they don't never have no bullshit in their life. Spiritual people always got bullshit in their life, man. And you don't need to read no damn Bibles and, and Qurans to figure this shit out. It happened in front of our faces. But that's all I got to say.